How's it going guys? My name is Brad and I am with Best Price Nutrition. Our website is bestpricenutrition.com. Be sure to check out our website and be sure to sign up for our email newsletter. It's not really a newsletter, but it lets you know whenever we have sales, deals, we have a lot of flash deals that go on. So make sure you're signed up and you can definitely be the first to know about any sales that we have going on. So today I want to talk to you about the pro hormone from high tech pharmaceuticals called Dianabol. So Dianabol has a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, so if you look at the supplement facts of Dianabol, it's a pretty lengthy list. Um, in one of the videos previously, I went over everything in there. <clears throat> I don't think anyone's actually interested in that, so I'm not going to do that. If you guys want to see a video where I go through every single ingredient and let you know what it does, let me know when I will, but if there's no interest in it, I'm not going to do it. Um, so I'm going to give you the broad strokes today. So Dianabol like equibolin the main ingredient in there is a 1,4 andro so the 1,4 andros are kind of rare and they turn into boldenone which is a anabolic hormone that you know it's in a lot it's what some steroids turn into but specifically this pro hormone turns into boldenone um boldenone is really really good for bulking because it increases strength it increases lean muscle mass and it increases appetite so i talked about this recently so i'm not going to belabor the point but if you're bulking one of the biggest things that you need to do is eat calories that's kind of the entire difference of bulking and cutting it's how much you're eating if you're cutting you're eating less than your caloric maintenance if you're bulking you're eating more if you're trying to bulk as much as possible as quickly as possible you want to have a high appetite if you're someone who just doesn't eat that much as is it's going to be really hard for you to bulk um, and it may do the opposite where you'll eat really heavy for a few days and then be so put off by eating that you just eat really light for the next couple of weeks because you're kind of grossed out by how you did eat if that's you, if you're someone who doesn't eat that much, then you need something to increase your appetite. And that's where one of these pro-hormones, whether it's equibolin, specifically Dianabol in this one, will help you. Um, Dianabol also has a lot of different compounds, some herbal, some synthetic, that are going to help amino acid uptake, going to help uh, muscle retention. So something that a lot of people don't think about all the time is that it's not always constantly you're building muscle on top of muscle. It's a net game. So, you know, you do lose some amino acids in your muscle throughout the day, and then you put some on, and then you build it, and you lose it. If you always just have muscle preservation, muscle retention, then you're only building on it. Um, so it's not 100% you're not going to lose anything, but you can retain as much as possible, which is going to help you build muscle. And some of the other ingredients in here are going to help boost your testosterone. And then the other things in here are going to help promote muscle protein synthesis. So a lot of times when people see a label like this, they think like, oh my God, like this is all, this is hormonally, it's gonna make me go crazy. No, there's only a few things in here that are hormonal. A lot of them are things that will bind on to uh, proteins in your body and then make your body do some things. It might bind onto an enzyme, make an enzyme work better or inhibit an enzyme. Right, that's what an aromatase inhibitor is. It's going to stop uh, estrogen, testosterone from converting to estrogen. So when you see a list like this, don't be scared. A lot of it is herbal. A lot of it is non-hormonal. Some of it is, but don't look at this and be freaked out and think it's not for you. Um, <clears throat> and another thing about this is that it is a dry compound, and it's actively dry, meaning that it will reduce water retention under the skin. Um, if you're just fat, then you're just going to be fat. It's not going to do much for you. Um, but if you're holding a good amount of water, if your salt intake is kind of all over the place, if you have high estrogen, which you might, um, first off, you want to lower it. That's how you're going to get rid of that water in the first place. But if you just are holding a good amount of water, something like this can help because it's going to get rid of that like top layer of water that just sits under your skin. You don't want to have no water. You don't want to be dehydrated. But if there's something specific that you're doing, if there's a show, if there's an event, if you're going to the beach, you don't want to look like a piece of crap, then what you can do is take this and it will reduce the water under your skin. It might make you a little more vascular. Um, just make you look a little drier, leaner, right? So that's a little positive effect from it too. Um, and then also, I mean, I kind of mentioned it, but one of the main things I wanted to mention in here was that there is laxogenin in here. Um, the 5 alpha hydroxy laxogenin acetate, which is the synthetic version, that's awesome for building muscle. Um, and again, I'm not going to go into all those. I just wanted to mention that because that is in a good amount of pro-hormones. So if you guys have any other questions about Dianabol, if you want to know if it's for you, what you should stack it with, whatever the case may be, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you probably within a few days. We're always pretty on top of the comments. 
So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.